And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Empyreon Galactic Survival. And the day is dawning on a brand new, wonderful day, full of guys who are roaming around. I hope these guys are friendly. I was down digging at the asylum deposit. You can see 95%. So I, I, I was digging like 160, another 160 out of it. And, uh, lo and behold, I started getting attacked by some creature. So, I had to get the heck out of there, because uh, I, I dumped, like, 30 rounds, 50 cal rounds in it, and he just kept on to coming. So, I got out of there. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he's not still down there, because I want to go down and build my base right down there. So, hoping, hoping that it works. Uh, as you can see, I have been crafting a, a serious amount of stuff here, and yeah, we, I'm going to, you know, I'm trying, trying to get a uh, decent amount of stuff saved up here. Uh, I've got the multi-tool crafted. I only got 14 more charges. I think I, I think I reloaded it already. I did. And it looks like, ooh, it looks like this. Wow, one charge fills up the whole magazine. Well, that will help things a lot. Um, I'll still craft the 20 in here. That's fine. I just wanted to get some stuff here. Uh, okay, so let's head down. Oh, I got a UI issue. Well, that's not, that's not handy. Okay, so one thing we have to make sure is, let's see if I can't get rid of that. There we go. Uh, make sure when we build this that it's supported because structural integrity is definitely a thing. So I want to build this with enough, I don't know, with enough height where creatures don't just wander in my base. Ta-da! New base! Yay! Somehow this has got 54% fuel. I'm not sure how. But uh, this is going to be uh, Flex Valley. It's going to be the, the valley here. Uh, do I have to hit, like, Y? Or do I need a power first? I'm guessing I'm going to need a powered first. Still. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's time. Time for blocks. First of all, I would like to get that nice and protected. Uh, let's uh, hop into here and back this guy up. Let's five out that way. It's actually six. But whatever. I'm not going to fret over too much here. Obviously, um, right there. We need it supported. Yes, because if we look at N, show structural integrity. You can see these. 
not so not so hot. So I want the I want the spine of the base to be well supported. There we go. Two blocks high. All right. So all of that is supported. No problem. Uh, I need a little ramp right here. So I'm going to right click. And we're going to see. Is this a gentle enough ramp? I think so. Right in there. Not sure how to get rid of the foliage. Obviously, placing the the main block there got rid of it, but yeah, nothing else. Nothing else disappeared. So I want a pretty big area here for a like a hangar or something. It's one, two, three. Yep, that's three out. Oh, and it's raining. Yeah, they added weather to the game. So, it can be really good or really bad. <laughs> um, Alright, so one thing I would like... It's a little bit of a waste of blocks. But I want three wide as a primary backbone to my base. Now this is also going to come out. So that is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Okay, so the rest of these lovely blocks fully supported, no problems. Nice big platform right up there. That's why I made so many of these things. Crafted a bunch over overnight. It seems like the the nights last way longer than the days, and that's typical in, in my experience with games like this. You know, survival games uh, where daytime is very valuable. Uh, it always seems like nighttime just takes its sweet, sweet time uh, to arrive. Or daytime, rather. Uh, also, there is a drone, F5. Wink! Whee! And we can use this drone to cruise around. I'm not sure why that's. There we go. All right. So, obviously the block here is going to be well protected. Well supported as well. Uh, Cause I'd like a backbone into this base. And what other kind of blocks? Can we get creative with this here? Um, I'm going to right click again. What other cool kind of blocks can we build? These uh, rounded ones kind of look intriguing. But uh, I'm thinking we're going to go with just a single... I want a single block. So this one is fine. Because we're going to have a hangar door over on this side and one over on this side. So this has got to be well supported. I'm not sure what the limits are here. 
These are these don't need to be very tall. See that is rather concerning. Um, let's try. It's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, I want one. Hmm. We need one here. Still getting used to the rotations and stuff. And let's go down here and right click. Okay, so this is the block we were using, so we need to use this one now. So there. And let's make sure the rotation. Just a little support. Oh man. <coughs> Something went down the wrong tube. Okay, where's the grant? I'll just use this one. <coughs> oh man. Just one second. Alright, then when I'm back. Serves me right to try to Trying to talk, breathe, and swallow all at the same time just doesn't work very well. Okay. So it's kind of like a, a, a hook looking thing. Is that thing gonna. Just gonna get. Look at that. The, yeah, that was a, I don't know why it does that. <clears throat> it's really annoying. Okay, um, I need this block again. There we go. I'm not sure how far out we can go. So I might want to... I don't think I can de destroy that block. Um, yeah, these are concrete blocks. These are beastly things. So, yeah, I'm not sure just what their support... I mean, that looked like it was almost falling down. Um... So how wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I want then like a some sort of structure like that. That's going to be a big tower. Let's uh, get in here. Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Really? Get 
know what? Chainsaw time. Got it. Ta-da! Yes, I'm still in structural integrity mode on purpose. So this is going to be the edge of my hanger. Oh, I'm going to need so much more concrete. And then this will be a wall. And we'll figure out the details and all of the all of the goodies at a later date. All the cool designs and stuff will come, and it's just a matter of getting them in the right in the right place. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I, I wanted just to confirm that that was seven. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Well, it was right. That was crazy. Okay. I'm going to need so much more concrete. I want to finish this off. I wanted to get a good platform first. So the next one, obviously, is... We have a situation here. I might have to go. Okay, that that actually lines up with that. So and there's really nothing I can do about that. I'm trying to get a good foundation in before I get to the cool designs. Okay, so this line here. Is the... Is the system. And then all this stuff back here. So I'll have a space for like a hovercraft. Uh, and uh, like a hovercraft drill machine and then a space for like a warship or a sort of a scout ship you know an armored but swift your basic uh, your basic cruiser sort of thing uh, okay so my load bearing walls are already massively supported under here so I want to make sure before I go any further, that these are going to be the walls that I make. So this is going to be right in here. This is going to be the back wall. For that side. Same deal on this side. Okay, I think that's fully fully supported there. Whoa. What what was that all about? just did no why do you hate me game this game hates me 
Okay, so from here there'll be a wall. So there'll be another arch coming out there, going into this wall over here, and an arch coming out of this, going into this wall over here, and then there'll be a wall in the back separating our systems. And in the core here, um, I'm thinking fuel tanks, power gen, and then on our sides, on either side, we'll have more stuff. You know, just your basic stuff um, so power gen in the middle fuel in the middle and we'll have assemblers uh, and then storage and then we'll have miscellaneous like medical bays um, you know whatever whatever doesn't fit probably food in there somewhere and then in the back uh, we'll have some farming good farming and since this um I've, I'm contemplating whether or not I want regular farming or just open-air free farming um, kind of curious anybody have any experience with that uh, please let me know uh, in the comments what is the most efficient uh, I'm looking for I'm looking for efficiency uh, rather than just plain uh, um, you know aesthetics Am I? I don't know what it's not returning blocks oh yeah it is just wasn't putting them in my hotbar for reasons undetermined. <clears throat> so before I get too crazy with this build, I want to make sure that we have some defense. So my first order of business uh, will be getting at least one turret up and running. Uh, and not sure if I'm going to be able to build the one that I want. Um, Let's go into Tech Trees base. I don't think weapons. Yeah, these are like handheld weapons. I could actually do an assault rifle tier two, but that's um, I need light armor. The guy, that guy attacking me, actually put my armor down quite a ways. So yeah, there there's a lot of cool stuff to use. I got the cannon turret ready. Uh, we're gonna want hangar doors. Um, unfortunately, I'm not level seven yet. I am still a six, but soon enough, soon enough, I'll be able to have that uh, armor locker. I might as well unlock that. It's pretty cheap. Uh, repair station. I need that. Tools now have durability. And since they have durability, we need to get them repaired. So that is what the repair station is for. Uh, sentry gun. Uh, so that would... If it was PvP, I would, I would need sentry guns. But uh, because it's not... Okay, capital vessel, there's not much I can do about that. I'm going to need a hover vessel. So that's one thing I want to start working towards. Uh, spotlight blocks. I don't need a fridge. Fuel tank. I'm not sure if I need O2 tanks. I do want a Gatling gun. Uh, minigun turret. Uh... RCS, thruster S, thruster M. It's weird that you have to buy all this stuff. Even though, <laughs> I mean, you can't build one of these without these. <laughs> uh, what's the point of building a you know a hovercraft if you can't actually build the hover engine? <laughs> 
I don't know what I just clicked there, but it is what it is. All right. So we have some general idea of what we're doing. Um, I, I make no... I make no guarantees that I actually know exactly what I'm doing. So take that with a grain of salt. All right. Well, at least we're starting and we're getting somewhere. I'm going to need a whole lot of rock, uh, which we happen to have. Ooh, there's a, there's a triceratops over here. Uh, stone removal. Stone? Oh, cobalt. Nice. So, yeah. We're starting the base. Good times. Good times are in our future. Oh, there's a bunch of aloe and stuff over here? That's good. Ooh, yeah. I'll take the aloe all day. Not sure how fast this stuff regrows, but it's good for medicine. Really good for medicine. Oh, nothing? This big guy's got to give me something. Copper, iron. This big one. Iron and copper again. Silicon, sweet. More stuff and things back here. Is that a baby T Rex back there? Oh, no, that's his tail. Thought there was something following him, but nope, that's his tail. Or those are the corn dogs. I don't, know, I don't know if that's what I saw. But look at that glory in the background over there. It's like civilization coming to this poor planet. Did that drop anything? I didn't see anything drop. Just sort of on autopilot at this point. Oh, wow. Cobalt. Silicon, copper. A lot of good stuff. I'm hoping for some magnesium. Aha! Look at that. I do need to go out to the magnesium uh, and farm it up. You know, I'm collecting these plant fibers. I, I, I have a feeling they're going to be used for something. Don't know what yet, but I have a feeling. Just a gut feeling. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. Please hit that like button to keep the series going. And, uh, yeah, I am I am enjoying things so far. And, yeah, the uh, like button would really help out. Uh, get, the, get the series going uh, a little higher on the search results. Uh, but, anyway, that will do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.